Hey folks, Jay Barino here, joined by Deltron Live. Hey guys. All right, so we're heading into our next Rock the Cabinet co-op showcase. This is Trading Places, created by Phoenix. Let's see here. Phoenix Windthrower has sent the commanders to infiltrate the Revenscar Mobius hybrid research facility in order to obtain data on hybrid weaknesses. Having been detected in the facility, I'm going to seal the station in an impenetrable force field powered by three power generators. I'm going to be playing Kerrigan, Deltron. Looking we're going, like going Artanis for this. All right. So we're trying to switch up our commander combos here, but there are only three, so there's only so much we can do. So we are playing on hard again. Yikes. <laughs> is this supposed to be this way? Uh, is yours white? It is pure white. Okay, mine actually shows an image now. Oh, okay. What, uh, what are you seeing? It is a giant uh, Protoss capital ship and uh, little rock structures. It was oh. actually really neat. Okay. Um, Maybe from the Revan sure Scar mission yours. from Legacy of the Void. Mine was bright white. I may I need like a day to see again. <laughs> Not, Not sure, sure what could mine. cause that. Okay. My name is Phoenix Wintar, of the Purifier, and I shall aid you in this mission. May your valor bring us swift victory and honor this day, Commanders. Amon's forces have shielded the power generators. However, maintaining the facility shield array means that only one core can be protected at a time. I have highlighted the shielded core on your minimap. So we can't attack okay. that one, is from what I understand. One. Also, yeah. just double checking. I do have subtitles, have subtitles on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there's voice acting, but no subtitles, even if we have the option on. Also, the main objective, there's a, just, uh, if you hover over it, there's a placeholder mm -hmm. description. So you might just want to. There's also a shuttle in the. Get rid of it. Or... A shuttle in the bottom right that's got the same thing. Bit of a placeholder, name label, value label. Looks like you got it too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Titanic warp prism. I'm not sure what that is for. The enemy is coming for us. Templar, ready your blades. Crap. <laughs> Once again, not really prepared for this. I'll. And then I, yeah, I know this is based off the Legacy of the Void mission with the where you get the carriers, so you can move the platforms around. So we're on our main platforms, which I assume may continue to get attacked. So we might want to make an air fleet. Maybe the maybe the goal here is to focus on an air fleet. Or yeah, I'm not not really sure. Well, this I mean, might it, be we, one that. Sorry, go ahead. Takes us, you know, one or two tries. Uh, a try just to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, maybe we just have to. I mean, we have to move the platform around, but we also have to make sure we stay defended. Oh, of course they'll come for me. It's okay, I got them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was about to be real mad. <laughs> so I could see this being... I mean, it's its based off of an existing map, but it's like we want to scout around a little bit and see if we can find expansions. Yeah, there are mag mines in the air, so that's, I guess, to prevent you. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're leaving me. I, I just wanted to see yeah, where this is going to take me. Yeah, because I noticed there are there is not a an expansion nearby to take. There's nothing connected to us for expansions, as far as I can tell. Pylon power field. Pinged on the. I'm not sure what that is. It's it's when it's you set it up. It's your Artanis field. Oh, no! It's showing like in the center of the the yellow pinging thing in the center of the map. Oh, hmm. I don't know. No, not quite. Um, what it, mousing over it, it looks like it is, but the pylon power field's actually to the right where yours is actually. Make it so I don't know what that is, um, what the yeah. dots are. Maybe it's just where the, the platform Should is we, moving? I guess bring Kerrigan and we'll move up. Yeah, I, I think so. Can you move it? No. Okay, Maybe I... Because you're, you can't move it either? No, I can. I just wanted to make sure that you could not. 
I cannot. What have I done? Oh. Oh. I can control the top one. You, I think, can control the one we're on. Or you should be able to. Okay, now it moved. Yeah, see, it's, it's okay, it's, it's highlighted in orange because you are orange and can control this one. Oh, okay. So maybe instead of pylon power That's field, maybe, you know, give that a little different description. Yeah. All right, there is an expansion there. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought a drone. Oh, shit. The, uh... It looks like they're programmed to drop on the platforms. Platforms. As opposed to your base. I would have expected them to come to our base. But frankly, I think it's smarter to have them attack to the platform. Personally. I am going to make mutalisks. Just watch out for the magmines in the air. Yes. Um, uh, too bad I can't warp. Uh. Probes. <laughs> Probes. I, I guess just go ahead and move it back. We can each bring a worker. Okay. Two platforms down. There we go. Yeah, I really just need one. You, you could probably afford to send a couple of drones. Okay. Okay. They are rebuilding on these platforms. Ready to move? Yes. I would recommend... I mean, this doesn't really... It's kind of a build and destroy map, but at the same time, maybe just disable the enemy rebuilding. I think just, just get rid of that. Just get rid of it. Okay. Um... I'll take it. <laughs> I can see this map causing problems because one, there's going to be there's going to be expansion. <laughs> there's going to be fights over the expansion. I'm sure there's another one, but there's going to be fights over who gets this one. Yes. And I think people could grief each other quite easily mm -hmm. because of the platforms. People are going to move the platforms and be assholes. Yeah. <laughs> you know they will because they people are fucking assholes. I guess let's move it to the left. Okay. I'm bringing you with me, Kerrigan. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you, should, you should probably build uh, uh, Nidus Worms. Oh, yeah. So once again... Oh, here's here's your expansion. Once again, I'll point out, uh, I feel like mobility... <laughs> mobility is going to be a major issue. Where did, did I leave my probe behind? It looks like they're going to my base. I'm going to get on your platform. Can you send me back? Yep. Uh, yeah, this is going to be tougher. <laughs> Our allies are high cluster is trying to move it attack. to the right. Oh, mine is in the way. I'm going to just reinforce your base. Thank you. Okay, you can move the platform now. Okay, to the right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, interesting. Interesting concept. In Alright, Kerrigan's back. Make it quick. We're unstoppable, but lots of dying. Save the hatchery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta make some defenses okay, another, here. Another another attack. Make it coming. Okay. My search continues. Um get your dragoons on the platform and maybe send us over there. Looks like it's going for you. Oh, no. Now they're changing course. Hard to tell where the enemies are attacking. Where they're attacking. Maybe if you just have a uh, an indicator where they're going. I mean, they sent it on the Hercules transport, so if you can kill that before. No time like the present. So dropped one Reaper and then dropped everything else. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that works. It doesn't look like they drop out of the actual um, Immobilization Hercules. My queen. Also, I mean, we have a lot of time. It makes me want to just sit here and kind of secure our borders. Macro, yeah. Might be worth it just building some static defense. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do You want me to bring you more drones? Um, no, I'm going to make a... I'll make an Omega Worm. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to be crucial for this. Spawn more overlords. Spawn tech more overlords. Teching up a bit. Flipping Isha. Yeah, so these... I mean, we do have subtitles on. You can see the... Isha, when Isha was talking. Yes. It showed that, just the, uh, I forget his name, Phoenix. When he spoke, it was very quiet. I think that this is... I mean, quiet as a no subtitle. So. Yeah. 
Templar, prepare to intercept. I think this is a... Our allies are in Let's just defend our own expansions. You stay over there. I'll keep Kerrigan here. Um, yep. This is a very interesting and bold concept, and I'm not saying that in a patronizing way. I legitimately think that this is... Um, this is interesting to have tried to implement, though I can see this causing many different commanders' problems. Mm-hmm. Um, Kerrigan's gonna function well because the Omega Worms, but frankly, I think a lot of others will have tons of problems. I've come but that's just like... Yeah, I mean, Ra Raynor would be good, too. Alright, they're attacking my base, but I should have enough stuff. Our the difficulty I mean, doesn't seem too bad. It's not too bad, yeah. It could be... Uh, this, I would be... I would be... I would feel a lot worse about this if the difficulty was, like, unbelievable right. or something. Yeah. I would... I would feel like I was struggling a lot more. Yeah, there is going to be some fighting over who gets the first expansion. No. Yes. And again, I mean, this is this could really lead to... I mean, I mentioned this already, but this could lead to some serious griefing as people, like, block each other with the platforms and mm, that yep. kind of stuff. So again, um, interesting concept. Also, there's an enemy attack that's just sitting up there. It looks like it's stuck. It was a uh, uh, Hercules. Okay. Transport that dropped its load and then... I had no load left, and I didn't kill it, so it just kind of ran away. So. Oh, okay. You can also use the platforms to kind of scout out where you want to go first. Yeah, let's move. I guess move this one up. Oh, Kerrigan wasn't on it. That's all right. So they occasionally send random units without the attack icon, which I think is fine. So... Every time you spawn a Mega Warrior, it's it's scary. Kind of scares you, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Should we try to take one of these things out? Um, I suppose I'm gonna start making mutalisks now. I'm trying to. I've been. I'm you know. I'm, I'm a little quiet because I'm trying to brainstorm ways that this could. could work better. I don't think it works poorly per se, and I think the the three basic commanders it functions well with. Enemy forces are mm -hmm. I think that with these. Three commanders. Rainer can spawn units anywhere. Artanis can spawn units anywhere. Kerrigan can use Omega Worms. But there are other commanders that I think will have a lot of problems. So I don't know how this would function with someone like Abathur, who can deep tunnel with some units, but not all. Also, there's like four enemy attacks that have spawned. Okay. Are you good at home? Yeah, F2 in your units are going to be... Uh... Definitely have to micro your units around. You can't just F2 them. Right. So they will just end up getting stuck. Looks like they. Oh, the Meatless are, are a good choice here. Yep, yep. Oh, there's a base over here. Oh, there is. Okay. I'm gonna go get some Phoenix out. Is this connected? No, I think they just dropped. The, they just redropped these units over here. Interesting. Yeah, I figured Meatalisks would be good. I'm gonna try pushing. Make oh, they're coming quick. into my base. It should be okay. Hopefully, it doesn't should block okay. you too if much. If you can, if you can kill the transport. Our allies oh, are in combat. Before it really like drops all its units, you should be good. The transports yeah. aren't too bad. I don't think the enemy attacks are an issue on this map. I just think no. that um, the concept itself is just gonna cause problems for especially immobile commanders, which seems to be a very consistent theme with a lot of the, the RTC yes. entries, all of them that we've played. Except maybe the last one. I think uh, as your guys, that one where, you know, I don't feel like mobility was an issue, but there's definitely a mobility issue with all the others that we've played. Yeah. Mild, How but we... still there. Yeah. How do we get over to the one on the right? The, the power core? Uh, I assume I we'd, have to go... we'd have to go this way. Okay. You want to attempt? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got mutalisks that I can back you up with. Not many, but... Okay. Well, the air units also move on the platforms, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. They kind of bring you with them. That's nice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Emergency shields on mutalisks. God, that's so cool when, you, when those things pop up. Yeah. Templar. Greet them in kind. Your queen listens. Oh, 
We took this base out. Your mutilus. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna path into enemies all the time. Okay. Our drones are our allies are in combat. I'd like to take that base out. Uh, which one? Uh, this one down here. I'll do it with mutilisks here later. Okay. <laughs> the, so the the enemy attacked. It just seems like they're all over the map. I mean, they're not, but it just seems like they are. Yeah. So not sure where they're. Trying it's also to go. it's because they're trying to drop units to reinforce in places as well. Uh huh. Because they're constantly trying to drop more and more units over near my expansion. Yes. Just to reinforce the units that died. So I think like a, a bully trigger needs to be turned off. Maybe not even a bully trigger. I think the d the default is simply for them to for them to rebuild a certain number of times. So I'm pushing. We can take this first uh, platform power core out. Okay. Does not have an attack, which is nice. Okay, I'm flying over. Oh, so you. Did you move your plat? You did move your platform. Yeah, down. I moved my platform. It's it pretty cool getting to move the platform. And yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I wonder. I don't know if there's much of a reason to have more than, more than one. Because they they can just block each other. But then who gets to control it? You know. Who gets to control it? Yeah. Because if you allow both to control it, then it's like even worse possible worse griefing than, than yeah. already described. I also, uh, yes. there are no bonus objectives on this map, but the map maker, he did, uh, in the thread on the forums, he did tell me that he hasn't implemented the bonus objectives, but he would like us to, to play this. Okay. I don't know if he plans on implementing bonus objectives or not. Phoenix Mutalisk. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel like a um, yeah build and destroy map with the platform uh, gimmick. So I like the focus on air, but not every commander has cheap air. I mean, it's okay if it's not cheap. I like the idea that it's supposed to it's supposed to uh, f force you to go air, but uh, not like Alarak has no air units except uh -huh. war except war prisms. And the death fleet. Like, and the, yeah, and the death down, fleet so. doesn't really count. <laughs> and uh, yeah. your efforts are futile. I suppose. What other options would there be? Like, what other commanders would struggle? I think Abathur could do fine. Nova yeah, would have trouble getting to fast air. Hmm, yeah. that, I mean, stuff like that is gonna be tough. They, and they, yeah, so they're rebuilding this whole platform. Oh, they are. Okay. Yes. Well, as long as we just focus on taking the. Uh, the power cores out. I mean, yeah. Fine. And I just, I just want to point out there is a default in the editor, as far as I know, that when you place units, they, they have a default which they rebuild. And I don't know, it like dependent on the map's difficulty, the AI difficulty, they'll rebuild one, two, three, or like infinite times. Okay, you're being attacked at home. Oh God! All right, I'll, I'll be able to handle it. Okay. Just put some zealots and. Where's Kerrigan? Explain yourself. Oh, she's here. And. So they just they flew right, right past by your me. face. <laughs> They're going to you? <laughs> no, it's just stopped in this the bottom corner. Is under hmm. The enemy's coming for us. Hope you're ready for this. Yeah, so like this attack wave, this attack wave, this attack wave down here are all just uh, Hercules transports. So maybe if they do get stuck in a corner or something, or you could just you could just have them drop their load and then hold position of where they drop it. Because I mean these transports are not going to be picking up more units and then returning right unless you have them you could have yeah just have them hold position after they they drop or just have them return to the base their base so yeah i don't envy the map maker who is trying i don't envy phoenix for trying like doing this and having to program enemy attack waves to be yeah, dropped like this that just <laughs> yeah makes it even harder to make work yeah so i can i could totally see how that's tough i think we should go for the upper left i think we can't go for the other one because it's shielded, if I understand uh -huh. that correctly. Yeah, let's let's take that out.
Yeah, I don't know how much point there is to taking out these outline bases. I mean, they are rebuilding, so. Yeah, and see, I mean, some of the attack waves, uh, they get stuck. These marauders are in a corner over here. Yeah. But. That's why I think it's just especially harder for the creator to program attack waves when the they all is, yeah. are in the air. This is not a... Uh... I just want to get rid of these because they, they mildly <laughs> distract me. They bother you, yes. <laughs> I have so many minerals, but not a lot of gas. And I think that's going to be the main issue in general when it comes to when you're going mostly air units. Mostly air. Yep, same here. Should we get on the platform and move it around? We can. Or just, just go air? What I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the other thing about this mission. Clearly the... The gimmick is supposed to use the platforms, but I immediately just thought I'm not doing yeah. that. <laughs> well, let's let's take this this one out, this power core out, and then the last one we can move the platform and do it that way. Okay. Does that sound like a plan. Sounds like a great plan. Well, you do have your Omega Warm, but let's just go for it. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Okay. I'm also at maximum supply because I built so many units. <laughs> I did see that you had like a there's a ma mag mine there's on the bottom some, right. There's some. So there are there's some. There's some over on the left as well that I noticed. <sighs> Need to kill some of my own units. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just send everyone to the, the platform that I can. Our yeah, you're going to have to take this out. I'll just get the, the units on the ground. Okay. There's a lot of health. Oh, Broodlords. That's, yeah, that's why not? Choice. I was going to I don't think I've ever, ever <laughs> built Broodlords with Kerrigan. Not one time. I haven't even got. I haven't even gotten my Kerrigan upgrades. Yeah. Where where is Kerrigan? <laughs> she's in a she's in a worm. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna start moving the platform. Try to get up there somehow. Oh god, magic box the Thor! Ah! Oh, you're, yeah, you're just going for it. <laughs> I can't lift the Thor, it's considered massive, right? Yes, correct. Our forces have met the, enemy. the swarm comes! Nice. That was satisfying. Yeah. One of the few times Kerry is not the focus. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, there, there she is. I think you're... Oh, yeah. So I can't move my platform up because yours... Can you move yours to the left? So my units can get there. Got it. So we've got 10 minutes left. Again, we're on hard difficulty, not brutal. I don't know what this would be like on brutal. I just assume the enemy attacks would be higher and there might be some more pre-placed units in these bases. Which could obviously ca <laughs> cause problems. I mean, not... Not like problems with the map, but difficulty <laughs> uh <-huh>. for us. <laughs> yeah, I did. I also just noticed that. So uh, you cannot move if uh, your ally's platform is being moved. Currently, you cannot move your own platform, even okay. if it seems like it's out of the way. So. Maybe that's why you thought you were unable to move anything earlier. Right, because yours was moving. Okay. <laughs> Finally got my units up here. <laughs> Nice. So I guess the smart thing on this map would be to build static defense in your base and then, you know, move your army around. Because if you have mostly ground-based army that can't warp around, it's going to be... It's going to take a while for them to get all the way to the, uh, the power cores. Yes. Yeah, I think so, too. But I like the idea of the map. Yes, me too. I um, I don't want to cherry code it. I, I struggle to see how this map would really work. Again, mostly with just some other commanders who don't have a focus on air units. They'd have to use the platforms, but the enemy attacks force you to move the platform so frequently 
that I think it would be it would be very challenging to react to all of the all of the generators are all blind the enemy moves against us and the shield we has will been meet them on. warp generators are activating now well done Hold out against Amon's advanced patrol. Where is this advanced? Okay. Well, this is... I hear your motto, cannons. Okay, oh, so this is different, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely different. So yeah, um, I just struggle to see. I think some commanders with mobility issues are going to have trouble. Uh, obviously, I think the attack waves need to be um, fixed because there's, there's problems with how they function. This is all air, by the way, so there's, there's, a, you know, <laughs> might not be able well, to... Uh, there's a Leviathan here as well. The hive cluster is under attack. Should be fine. Okay, got it. And we did survive. So I'm kind of confused as to why Amon's, like, what is this advanced attack. patrol? I think it was that Did fleet that we just destroyed, and I think the idea. No, is I know. Yeah. What okay. do you mean? <laughs> no, I, if that was explained, like why they're why they're here. Oh no, it was just like oh, there, here's some stuff. <laughs> Hold out, and I'm okay with that. It's just you know some players would just not be prepared for that. So there's just a few uh -huh. facets to the map that I think could be polished up. I I don't honestly have any idea because I am not a map maker, but I think that you know first step. Clean up the enemy attack waves. Don't have them clutter up the map. Have them come in, drop. Uh, once they drop, remove the icon from the mini map. Oh, fix, yeah, yeah. fix some of the text and graphical. Not really graphical, but the, some of the text issues. Yeah, I guess subtitles, Phoenix. Yeah. The, uh, the voice acting. The voice acting is great. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. uh, troubleshoot the white screen loading issue. That was very jarring. Not a major concern. I just want to point out, it's so nitpicky. I hate to be pedantic, nitpicky. <laughs> I hate other people that, that are like that. I don't hate them, but I, I think it's necessary for yeah, other people to do that. But I typically don't do that. But fix that is very bright. <laughs> yeah, my, mine was fine. Um, and it looked great. I mean, it looked fantastic. Uh, so it's just a slight bug with that. Yeah, so who knows what caused that. I don't know. I don't know if it could be something on my end. I have no idea. All right. No victory uh, No victory speech. Dialogue. Again, really mild, minor thing. I don't think that... For me, if I was a, a, a casual voter, um, which I, I suppose I am, I am going to be voting and, and rating all these campaigns eventually. I campaigns uh, maps. I don't. I none of the stuff that I really just mentioned um, in terms of like text issues, um, no ending dialogue, lacking subtitles. That personally would not affect my score of how something should be rated and unrock the cabinet. Because keep in mind, the winner. It, what matters is the idea. And how well it's implemented, because Blizzard is literally remaking the map and is going to make it part of co-op. So if the idea is sound, I think that's what matters most when it comes to my vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. I mean, mostly the gameplay mechanics, the, yes. the idea that you present. So. Exactly. Like this, the small bugs, like, you know, the icon of the transports don't disappear. That's In, in the end, that's, that's not really that big of a deal. I mean, yeah. that's something that blizzard could easily fix so definitely it's just it just adds to the overall polish and presentation of the map to the voters and let's be straight there's there are a lot of people that are going to vote right. based on that right. yeah. a lot of people <laughs> if i know my starcraft fan base well <laughs> a lot of them will vote on stuff like that that realistically doesn't matter in the context of the contest but mm -hmm. still that's you know it's important i mean if it's important to someone else then that's how they should vote and that's completely right. their prerogative just like it's mine to mostly ignore that kind of stuff What's going to affect my vote here is, again, I'm trying to imagine some other commanders are going to struggle a lot. Um, and the map is, it's its frantic with imagining how the, both platforms are going to work. If you have two players acting normally, that would probably work. But you can have people who are just going to ruin someone else's day for uh -huh. no reason. Right. <laughs> we both ended up, like, st like I, my idea was to go for a ground-based army, use the platforms. And then once I see, see you go and mass mutilist, I'm like... It's so much easier. I'll just start building a lot of Phoenix. Yeah, exactly. So. That That's the only other thing about this map is you just really, really tempted to make just air because why not? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Any other any other closing thoughts? Uh, I mean, I like I like the platform idea. There is 
uh, maybe you, if like your allied platform is moving and you're trying to move yours, maybe you just have some like dialogue or some warning say like, you know, you, you're not able to move your platform while the other platform is moving um, just to make it, because at the beginning I was like, why isn't it moving? And then, you know, it wasn't until later that we realized why that is. So mm -hmm. um, you could even make it so that there's two separate tracks of the platforms. So like one player has, be a good idea. you know, you have to take out two generators, but you only have enough time to attack one. So each person has to go for a separate one. Again, subject to griefing, one player could just choose not to do it and ruin it. Most of the other maps you can solo if you have a, a part, an AFK team member. In that case, you wouldn't be able to do that. You need two active people, but could mm -hmm. function better with the two platforms. Cause if one, if one platform's in the way and your partner doesn't move it, then you can't move units up, stuff like that. So. Right. Minor things that could be updated to, I think, add to the presentation of the map, for sure. Playability as well. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. We're going to come back and play some more RTC.